let's hold a silent auction inside a Google Sheet. We're gonna have items listed here, we're gonna have a starting bid, and we need two things. We need someone, we need to show whatever the highest current bid is, and we need a link to bid, which we're gonna use with Google Forms. So we have this Google Sheet, we have all the items, and all of the starting bids, but let's create a form, a tools, create a new form. We'll call this silent auction bid. We'll call the first thing the item, right? Whichever item over here that we want to actually bid on. And we want to grab whatever is the starting bid, but actually we want to get whatever the highest bid is. We'll copy this and we'll say bid. And this will just be two short answers. We might actually want to get whoever's name is bidding on it as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of magic to get a pre-filled link. So let's publish this. Let's publish it to anyone with the link. Click done, publish, and over here we'll have three buttons and we can pre-fill the form. And we're gonna write name of item here and bid 44. And we're gonna get a link. Let's copy that link and go back to our sheet and we'll paste it here. And we'll find where we said name of item, it's right here. It has an entry number that equals that. And then the number of the amount is here. So let's use this as a link, hyperlink, and this in quotes. But instead of this text name of item, we actually want to put the name of the item. So we'll end the quote here and we'll add an ampersand and we'll put whatever the item name is. This is B2. We'll put another ampersand and then another quote so we get the other entry. Then at 44, we can put in another quote, another ampersand, and we're going to put in this D2, which has whatever the highest bid will be. And let's sum this and one. So we have at least one dollar more. Let's kick enter. We have this link. Let's add at the end comma on all caps bid. So now it looks a little bit better. Let's click on this. Let's say this is the highest bid. Let's click on it and test it out. So here's the item. It says 26, which is one more than what's in the highest bid. And then let's put Andy. Let's go back to our list. I think there's an errant space at the end of our name, which might give us some issues later. Let's see if that continues. Let's copy this all the way down. And what our highest bid formula should be is we're going to filter all of the bids for where the B column is equal to this GIF basket, the uh, item name, sorry, B1 actually, B1, if that was NT. Oh, I think it's the ampersand is messing us up here. And T, let's change to that. Let's give another bid. Oh, and probably... Let's say gift basket of local T. Oh, we're getting an error here. So let's fill this out again. Just because of that ampersand, we probably just want text here. And let's submit. And now let's go and get the highest bid equals filter. Our range is going to be all of the prices where the B column is equal to B2. There, 26 is the highest. And if we copy paste this down, We'll see, we'll get some NAs, but actually we want max, wrap that, and say if NA here, we'll just bring in the starting bid. And there, we have now either the highest bid or the starting bid. Let's get all of the other characters out of here so this works, mystery, box of snacks. Let's see if this works for babysitting. Yeah, it's the whole thing, 26. Let's say mark bids on that. And now we go back and we see that that is the highest bid, 26 now. Let's see, lawn mowing. Now we have our bids, our links to bid. Let's say we want to go higher, and it is now higher here. So that's pretty cool, right? We can run a silent auction inside of a sheet with the names, the starting bid. We may want to even hide this, the current highest bid, some notes, and a link to bid on that item, which is just this highest bid plus $1. If you want to add $5, go for it. Here's, let's do a mystery box of snacks. 10, I'll do that, Andy. If you want to get the highest bidder, let's go look at that. We'll see the name here. Here's the bid. We will need to do equals filter. The D column, 
where the B column is equal to B2 and the C column is equal to the D2. We might get some NAs. This is, oh, that actually is blank here. So we get some NAs, so we'll say if NA, we'll just make it blank. We can say highest bidder here and have the item name, the highest bid, the highest bidder, if there is one, some notes, and a link to bid here. Isn't that cool? You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.